please. That is the camera. The camera is too close. You are blocking us. Yes. Yes. Please ask a question. Can't you, can't you just so for the benefit. Okay, let's move on. So for the benefit of Nigerians, could you tell us exactly what happened in court today? Briefly, sir. Sorry, Lenel Our apologies, Lenel I don't I don't have to speak. Our apologies. You are way caught. I don't have to speak. Finally, those two long awaited applications have finally had their day. Sorry? The two applications, those two pending applications, have finally had their day. Tell us how it is. No, not the two applications, one. Yes. And that is the one that is jurisdictional, which is saying that all the 15 counts in the charge are bad, bad, and bad. Like I described it before the court. They are as dead as dodo. All that the court requires is to give them a decent barrier. Because there is nothing whatsoever in the counts at all. You are accusing Nambikano of making some broadcast. You didn't say where this broadcast was made. Was it made in the spirit world? Was it made in the air? Was it made under the ground? You didn't state. That was to run away from the first count they had fired, which we got, uh, which we attacked when they had mentioned the United Kingdom. So they thought that by not mentioning a place, they had gotten away from it. But as a matter of fact, they had worsened their case. Because the Federal High Court Act says specifically, Section 34, that you must state the very location, specific location where an offense has been committed. Yes. That is one. They, they couldn't state any. They say it made brokers. And that the brokers were in furtherance of some treasonable acts. For you to charge a person with furthering with treasonable treason, you must have to charge the person with treason. Nam the can is not charged with treason here. We call it the predicate offense. Sure. It is from this predicate offense that the acts of furthering we emanate. So they are building empty, I mean castles on empty air. There's nothing to support it. You are saying that the brokers he made led to protests, violent protests in the east and in Lagos, affecting Lagos transportation system. Does this court have jurisdiction territorially over Lagos and matters that happen near Uli, near Ihiala, in Anambra State? No. Does this court have jurisdiction over matters if, they were, if there was an offense committed, for example, say in UK? Does this court have jurisdiction over matters that happen in UK? Answer, no. Because this court cannot exercise jurisdiction on matters within a sovereign land another country that has sovereignty under international law. Another major point is that you are trying this man saying for committing, uh, for, uh, for belonging to a proscribed organization. And I must now say this, contrary to what the prosecution said last time, Namdi Kano has never denied being uh, a member of IPOB. He says, I am not a member of proscribed IPOP. I want all of you to know the difference. And when IPOP was proscribed through the court process, Inam the Kanu challenged it. The matter is at the court of appeal currently. Yeah. Nobody knows the judgment of the court of appeal. If the court of appeal finally says that this proscription was wrong, as we are contending, let's say by that time you had already tried Namdi and jailed him. How will you bring him back? So you are trying him under a law that is inchoate, that is being challenged, whose efficacy and longevity is being tested 
and has not been finished. So we call it uh, little pendens or the doctrine of subjudice. So you cannot. So Nadi Kano, in his extrajudicial statement, said I, he founded IPO in 2012 in London. And that is, is the head. He has never denied being the founder, head, and member of IPO, but he denies being a member of proscribed IPO. This point must be made clear. We have also challenged the, the entire um, law itself. 